with uh, Yasser Khan Niazi here today and he is the MD of uh, Dr. Akbar Niazi Teaching Institution Hospital as well. So doctor, we would like to know that your collaborative seminar is so much, how was it, the experience with Dr. Poulet and bringing him here and what is the scope that you see with uh, liver transplant? Um, this was our collaboration with Dr. Plath is, is very important. Uh, he is one of the most renowned uh, liver transplant surgeons around the world. He's uh, vice chairman of the Liver Pra Transplant Association in Turkey as well as in Europe. And he is one of the pioneers in this field. So it's very important, our relationship with him is very important. Liver transplant, as, uh, as compared with Pakistan, is that there are more than one million patients which mm. will require liver transplant in Pakistan. Mm. That is the prevalence or the magnitude of the disease which is there. Unfortunately, the facilities are not, uh, it's not available. And uh, it's our effort to bring in the knowledge, the expertise, through these collaborations like these with international hospitals, mm. um, and to bring in expertise and knowledge here which will allow us to develop one of the leading uh, liver transplant institutes uh, centers in Pakistan. Yes, definitely, because uh, the rate of uh, need of liver, liver transplants in Pakistan are pretty high. What do you see the future of uh, this institution collaborating with international ones? Will it be only till Turkey or other institutions? No, we, 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 are, we are expanding ourselves. Uh, we are open in, uh, in, in talks and collaboration with hospitals in China, in South Korea, in Thailand, in Malaysia. Mm. Uh, we will go wherever the knowledge is, wherever the expertise are, mm. to bring in the best expertise and that can be made available to the general public in Pakistan. So for us, this Turkey is one of the, and the initial one, but we are looking at expanding these to other countries also. And uh, are you looking forward to uh, medical exchange or medical tourism uh, from your side? Or are you expecting uh, to have collaboration with different ones and then having different expertise come over to expand this? This is what we call the corridor of knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, tourism, medical tourism is not. We are more, ha um, our more focus is to bring in expertise and knowledge back to Pakistan. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, in order to do that, we have to establish some relationship uh, with, with these hospitals mm -hmm. and to learn from them. Mm -hmm. In order to learn from them, we have to bring in patients for what we can work on. But eventually, the goal is to have indigenous programs, not only in the liver transplant, but bone marrow transplant, mm -hmm. um, kidney transplant, and uh, other and uh, oncology, radiotherapy like gamma ray and, uh, and uh, um, cyber knife. Uh, technologies, uh, Da Vinci, uh, uh, kind of a robotic surgeries uh, happening in Pakistan. But that cannot happen today because of uh, we don't have the skills and we have to go and learn those skills first. And uh, that's why we are trying to do these collaborations. So you so send your students or your doctors over there? We send our doctors. With every patient which goes out, we send our doctors, a team mm. of doctors with them. And, and not only doctors, but also nurses, mm. intensivists, mm. operation theater staff. And we are developing their skills, uh, not only for our own hospital, mm. but to a level where they can go and work with other hospitals and, and create this knowledge uh, um, like corridor where the overall industry benefits from. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you. It was pleasure absolutely a pleasure to talk to Thank you. Thank you very much.